Do you know what is the biggest lie in Red Dead Redemption 2? The lie that is so convincing that everyone believes in it is that Micah Bell is a traitor, is a rat. Oh, I'm sorry for spoiler by the way, but I mean this game is 3 years old. Anyway, in this video there will be a lot of heavy spoilers. Because to prove that Micah is not a traitor, I will need to make a detailed analysis of the events that occurred in Red Dead Redemption 2 story. And by the way, we'll take a look at not only the most obvious and popular arguments and facts like Agent Milton said that Micah is a traitor, that's why he is. But also we will talk about less known evidences of Micah's betrayal like this bounty poster in his camp or what's said by Dutch in the American Venom mission. And by the way I want to make it clear from the very beginning I still don't like Micah, he's a terrible person, he definitely deserves everything that happened to him. But I still don't like that Agent Milton or Rockstar games themselves landed Micah and now most people are hating him for the wrong reason. Anyway, let's start with the biggest evidence against Micah. At the end of chapter 6, Pinkertons are kidnapping Abigail. Arthur and Sadie Adler are going to save her and when Arthur is almost saving Abigail, Agent Milton appears and they have this conversation. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. So according to Agent Milton, Micah became a traitor right after they came back from Guarma. And you might say, why would he lie? Well, the short answer is, it's because... It's the basic truth of the human condition. That everybody lies. I have more detailed answer, but let's talk about it later, because it's more like speculations, and now let's focus on facts. First of all, when we're coming back from Guarma, Arthur finds the rest of the gang in this abandoned building in Lakai. I hope I pronounced it correctly, but anyway, it's on Lagra Swamp. Important note, when Arthur arrives, Micah is already there. Many hours later, Dutch shows up. And only a few minutes later, Bill Williamson also enters the party and says well i asked everyone i could find and eventually someone new said you fools were out here and almost immediately after that we can see pinkertons when i was playing this mission for the first time my immediate reaction was the same as arthur's reaction asked everyone you could find did you bill but if micah was really caught by pinkertons right after he came back from guarma it was him who told agent milton where to find the gang but it doesn't make any sense for for a few reasons. First of all, it's really stupid from Micah's perspective to go there and wait until Dutch will show up, knowing that Agent Milton is aware that he will show up too with Pinkertons with machine gun and there will be probably a fight. Because Dutch is not that kind of person who will just give up. Anyway, it's definitely gonna be a dangerous situation in which Micah might die. So I think Micah would rather run away right after telling everything he knows to Agent Milton. I mean, he's a terrible person, but not an idiot. Unlike Bill Williamson, by the way just saying. But the second argument is even more important. So let's say Micah told Agent Milton where to find Dutch and they know where exactly he will show up, he in Lekai in this small building. But there is only one road leading to this place and you definitely want to use it because this area is full of alligators and poisoned snakes. And since Pinkertons knew that Dutch will choose this exact road, it would make sense for them to set a trap right here. And just wait for him to show up and there is no need to bring a lot of men and machine gun because Dutch will be alone and tired. Anyway, to me it seems like the simplest explanation here is the correct one. Pinkertons were just following Bill Williamson. Because if Pinkertons really knew where to find gang from the beginning, they would act differently. And Micah would act differently in this case. I mean, look at him, he's definitely surprised. Okay, but maybe later Micah shared some valuable information with Agent Milton that helped Pinkertons to cause some problems.
problems to the gang. You know what? No. Simply because since gang moved to the Beaver Hollow, the Pinkertons haven't bothered them, except this one episode that we already mentioned, when they attacked the camp and kidnapped Abigail. And only Abigail, because no one was at home. Actually, it's really suspicious and we're gonna talk about this episode in details later. But now let's talk about missed opportunities that Micah had and should have used if he really was a traitor. And there were a lot of such opportunities, but the best one happened when Arthur met Micah and Dutch in Annensburg. Dutch, Arthur and Micah are hiding in just a few meters from the place where Mr. Cornwell is talking to Agent Milton. The whole area is filled with bodyguards and Pinkerton, so what Micah should do if he's really a traitor? Maybe he should just point his guns on Arthur and Dutch, stand up and loudly say, hello Milton, here is your Dutch Wonder Linda, I've completed my part of the job. Okay, you might say, but maybe he tries to act more cautiously because he's afraid that there will be revenge from other gang members. Well, it was possible to achieve pretty much the same result, but with less danger, because when agents are leaving, Dutch is sending Micah to go and search for the documents. And it's a perfect opportunity for Micah to catch up Agent Milton and tell him that Dutch and Arthur are hiding nearby, and no one will even find out that it was Micah. But no, instead of using this perfect opportunity for betrayal, he just goes and does exactly what Dutch told him to do. Not something that Red would do, especially since Pinkertons will definitely not like the fact that he helped to kill the person who pays them money. Anyway, Pinkertons did not bother any gang members until the train robbery. Let's take a closer look at what happened that day. So when the whole gang were on the robbery, Pinkerton somehow found a camp and attacked it. But they managed to catch only Abigail, not old woman Miss Grimshaw, not a teenager, not a kid, only Abigail. Like they were not even trying. Anyway, who told Pinkertons about the camp? I think Arthur is making a good point here. Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. Yes, after all that mess that they created in Annensburg and other nearby locations, it was just a question of time when Pinkertons will find the camp. You might say, what if Micah told them just to distract Pinkertons from the train? You know, sacrifice few gang members, who are useless in his opinion anyway, to make robbery easier. Well, Micah is a terrible person and he's definitely capable of doing something like that. Especially since in his eyes he's not even gonna be a traitor, more like double agent. But I still think that it's unlikely, first of all because it's kinda dangerous for Micah to talk with Pinkertons after what happened with Mr. Cornwall. They should be pretty angry and do not trust Micah. But the most importantly this plan just makes no sense, there is no need to distract Pinkertons because they are not protecting this traitor. And even more, it's really dangerous to tell Pinkertons about the camp location because gang is planning to go back to the camp after the robbery and that's exactly what they are doing actually. So as you can see, it doesn't look like Micah shared any sort of valuable or helpful information with Agent Milton after Guarma. But you might say that there are other evidence of him being guilty. Let's take a look at them. Some people are saying that Micah actually confessed during the fight with Arthur. And yes, when Arthur is saying you are red, that Micah is not replying with no, I'm not, he's just saying I'm a survivor and so on. So he's not denying it, but he's not confirming it either. Plus, they are in the middle of a fight and they are fighting for their lives. It's not a time to choose words carefully. Another episode in which a lot of players see some signs of Micah's betrayal is American When a Mission. During the shootout, Micah is saying, I got and later, by the way, a lot later, we see that Pinkerton agents are showing up. So many players assume that he was talking about Pinkerton agents. In my opinion, he was talking about his gang members, didn't know that everyone is dead, or maybe just bluffing, but not about Pinkerton agents for sure, because think about it, it's kinda stupid for him to invite Pinkerton agents to the camp, because other gang members will not like it, and if he wanted to meet and talk with Pinkerton agents, he would rather 
also choose some other place. Another moment is when John is asking Dutch, what are you doing here? And Dutch replies, Same as you. I suppose. It's possible that by the same reason he meant that he came for the money, just like he thought John did. Or maybe he really meant that he came to kill Micah, because that's what he did actually. But it's not proven that Micah is a traitor, it only tells us that Dutch changed his opinion and now thinks that Micah is a traitor, many years later by the way. Anyway, let's move to the next big theory. Micah always was a traitor, he joined Dutch Wonderland did to betray him. And you know what? But if there was a rat in the gang, it makes more sense that this rat was active before Guarma. Just because during the biggest robberies in Blackwater or in Saint Denis Bank, Pinkertons showed up extremely fast. So it was really suspicious, but you know what? Almost everyone in a gang could be a rat, not only Micah. I will tell you even more. If we will take a closer look on some particular gang members, we will see that they are so much more likely traitors and Micah. Bell. But it's a topic for another big video, let me know in the comments if you would like to see something like that. Anyway, since we're talking about Micah Bell now, there is one big evidence that we just cannot ignore. If you will visit Micah's abandoned camp near Strawberry, on the ground you will find something interesting. Dutch's wanted poster. You see, it tells us that there is a $1,000 reward on Dutch Wonderland that dead or alive. And the thing is, this poster is definitely an old one. One. Micah found it before events in Blackwater or maybe even before joining the gang and was keeping that poster ever since then. I'm pretty sure that this poster is old for two reasons. First of all, reward is too small. $1000 is nothing after Blackwater events. Agent Milton tells Arthur that reward on his head is $5000 and Arthur was not even in Blackwater. Another reason is that Rockstar actually showed us Dutch's poster that was made after Blackwater events. They did it while teasing Red Dead Redemption 2 and as you can see it looks differently. Anyway, Micah had this old bounty poster. Does it mean that he joined Dutch with one purpose only, to capture him or kill him for a reward? To answer this question, let's take a look at missed opportunities, because there were definitely few moments in which Micah could have easily captured or killed Dutch, because they were alone. For example, in Blast are the Peacemakers mission, and Dutch and Micah are meeting Cole Modriscoll. Arthur Morgan is covering them with sniper rifle, but he got caught by O'Driscolls. And from that moment there were only two of them, and there was no problems at all for Micah to kill Dutch on their way back to camp if he wanted to. But you might ask, why then Micah keeps this poster? It's an interesting one. You see, if we will continue searching Micah's abandoned camp, we will find other pieces of paper that will help us to give another answer to this question. For example, piece of an old newspaper that is telling that more than 20 years ago Jan Micah and his father killed the rancher and his wife, and they have bounty of $10 on their heads, dead or alive. Don't you think that it's kinda weird and even dangerous for Micah to keep this evidence against him? It's almost like a document proving that he's a murderer, at least for most lowmans it will be enough. But there is another interesting finding in that camp as well, Newswire article about Blackwater job. So why Micah needs all these papers with him? I can answer to this question with just one word. Vanity. I hope I translated this word correctly. But anyway, you see, Micah is a bandit, and he's not pretending to be someone else, noble revolutionary, a good person in the wrong circumstances. No, he's a bandit, he knows it and he loves it, and what bandits do? They rob and kill people. And that's exactly exactly what he's doing, proudly, and he collects some recognition of his achievements. It's like his way to say, mama, I'm on TV now. And he keeps poster of Dutch for the same reason kids are buying movie star or singer posters nowadays. I'm not quite sure if kids are still doing it, but anyway, you got it. It's because Dutch is famous, back then these bank robbers were superstars. I mean, you can read about Jesse James or Butch Cassidy, and by the way, Dutch is a Butch. 
Butch Cassidy. I mean, almost. Definitely Rockstar were inspired by Butch Cassidy when creating Dutch Wonder Linda character. By the way, one more thing. There is no reason for Micah to have this poster with him, just because if other gang members will find it occasionally, they will definitely kill him. So it's dangerous. Plus, he don't need this poster anyways if he will decide to receive a reward on Dutch's head. First of all, there is no picture on this poster and Dutch is famous enough, so all it takes is to bring his dead body to any sheriff's office. And here is additional but extremely strong reason why at least after Blackwater, Micah never had an intention to betray Dutch. Micah is literally obsessed with the idea that they need to go back for Blackwater money. He talks about it all the time with Dutch. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Without Dutch. All our money lost back in Blackwater. Again and again. Sometimes it feels like he's the only person in the gang who even cares about this $150,000. And here is the thing. Only two person knew where this money were hidden. Jose and Dutch. So after Guarma, it's only Dutch. And if Micah will help Pinkertons to catch Dutch, he might say goodbye to this money. Might say goodbye to his dream. So taking all this arguments into account, it's almost impossible to believe that Micah was working for Pinkertons at any point of the story. But now we need to go back to the most interesting question. If Micah is not a traitor, then why Agent Milton lied? Or maybe I should rather say why Rockstar lied about Micah. As for Agent Milton, to be honest, there is no real logical reason for him to talk with Arthur at all, especially about traitor. So it might look just like a bad writing. You know level of Bond movies where evil guy is for no reason telling all the plan details to James Bond instead of just killing him. But actually I have a theory, some sort of a reasonable explanation on why Agent Milton is doing it. He needs Dutch, he's not interested in Abigail, Sadie or even Arthur. And that's why he's planning to let Arthur or other captured gang members to escape accidentally. And to make sure that Arthur will lose vigilance and will go directly to Dutch, he invented this story about the traitor. That's why actually he chose Micah, because Arthur hates Micah and he will easily believe that Micah is a red, despite the fact that there were no real proofs given. And by the way, Agent Milton is probably the last person who Arthur should trust, just because he's not his friend. Even more, they are mortal enemies. Anyway, my point is, Micah is a perfect choice if Agent Milton wants to convince Arthur that there is a traitor in a gang. Or maybe to deflect suspicion from the real traitor. Of course, if such traitor exists. There are other theories on why Agent Milton decided to tell Arthur about the traitor, like he wanted to humiliate him and make him suffer, but I think that these theories are less convincing. So let's move to the main reason behind this lie, at least I see it as a main reason. Agent Milton said that Micah is a traitor because Rockstar needed antagonist in this story. And they tried as hard as they could to show Micah as an absolutely pure evil. I'm not saying that such people do not exist, but you know what, as a storyteller you can show even the worst person from the positive side to make audience like this person a little more. You know, focus on some kind words that this person is saying or good deeds, even if they are extremely rare. Or you can tell about some traumatic experience from his past, preferably from childhood. That will work fine too. But it's not about Micah. He's always rude. He starts fights with other gang members. He even hits and later probably kills the dog. And like it was not enough, he's also racist. I've been literally following Micah to find at least something likable about him. And you know what? I saw one good thing. He pays his share. Unlike some other gang members. I'm not gonna say who, but his name is Bill. Anyway, Micah's character was created for one main purpose. To be hated. To be the perfect antagonist. And it works, but there is one huge problem. If we will choose the path of low honor for Arthur, it will be not that clear. What is the big difference between Micah Bell antagonist and Arthur Morgan protagonist? And even more, technically Arthur and John are betraying the gang because they are planning to steal the money and run away. Abigail even steals the key for the money chest from Dutch. And by the way, all this happens before Dutch is 
leaving John to die, before Dutch is choosing not to believe Arthur's word about Micah, which basically is Agent Milton's word, and choosing to confront John and Arthur. And yes, they have reasons to do this. The gang has changed, Dutch has changed, but still some people might see this as a betrayal. And that's why, in my opinion, Rockstar screenwriters just had to designate Micah as a traitor to separate him from Arthur and John. They are basically saying, especially to a player who decided to choose the path of low honor and go for the money in the last mission. Oh, don't worry that you and Micah are so similar, both are ruthless murderers and bandits and you even kinda betraying your gang. But Micah is still much worse, because he was talking to Pinkerton agents. And to make it more convincing, later in the game Rockstar are repeating the same message, Micah is a traitor again and again without giving any additional proofs. For example, in the epilogue when John is finding Sadie and Charles, one of the first things that he's telling them is that Micah was a traitor. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. Also, characters are repeating again and again how Micah is the main reason for all bad things that happened to Dutch and the gang. And finally, Rockstar are using some more artistic techniques to remind us that we should believe that Micah was a traitor. In American Venom, right before confronting Micah, we are seeing a rat. And since we are talking about artistic techniques, in most missions, Micah is separated from the gang by the clothing that he's wearing. Like here and here, he is wearing white hat while Arthur and Dutch are wearing black hats. Or let's say when Gang is going on Saint Denis robbery, he's the only person who's wearing white suit. And obviously it was made to enhance the player's feelings that something is wrong with Micah, that he's an imposter. So later it would be much easier for the player to believe everything bad that screenwriters will say about Micah, even without providing real proofs. And you know what, actually it's the main reason why I decided to make this video, despite the fact that I understand how controversial this topic is and how many dislikes I will receive from the fanboys. Because what Rockstar did here with Micah Bell is a clear propaganda. That's how propaganda usually works. First they create or find some prerequisites, some background for the future lie. Then they are saying a lie, without focusing on proofs or evidence or details, just a lie. And then as a final step they repeat this lie again and again in its simplest form until most people will believe it. Unfortunately, it always works, and it worked here as well. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you agree with my arguments or if you have some different point of view. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.